on May 25th, we will be setting off on a 10-day, 113-mile march from Philadelphia to Harrisburg to demand that 2013 be a year of a people's budget, not a prison budget. Yeah. yeah. We are calling on Governor Corbett and all of our legislators to cancel the prison construction. The state legislators are the ones who authorized the excessive prison construction. We are asking them to be the ones who stop it. Build more schools. Build more schools. Not more prisons. Not more prisons. Four hundred million dollars is being spent on new prisons. What's wrong with this picture? The Human Rights Coalition believes that we, the people of this state, deserve to be treated like human beings and not be rounded up like cattle and thrown into prison for every infraction of the law. $400 million can be spent on correcting the school system if something's wrong with it. Governor Corbett is looking to spend $400 million to build prisons in Pennsylvania while our school districts are entering a fiscal crisis. $400 million in a people's budget would pay for things like counselors that can connect students to colleges and successful career paths. It would pay for restorative practices that would give troubled and frustrated students a way to talk about the root causes of their problems and come up with real solutions. It would pay for after-school programs, arts, and sports that make school a fun place people want to be. By making education the state's priority, our superintendent, Dr. Hype, wouldn't be able to threaten to take away all of our school's nurses and librarians. What era are we living in where having schools, having no school libraries or nurses is okay? What kind of state is Governor Corbett trying to create for us? Okay, okay, talk about it. Money for prisons is an investment in destroying our communities, right. criminalizing our youth, and destabilizing our families. Right. It's an investment in keeping poor people poor and rich people rich. Right. 50 years ago, uh, some of you may know this, there U.S. Supreme Court ruled that anyone facing the loss of their liberty because they were accused of a crime had the right to an attorney even if you could not afford one. That's really important. Uh, unfortunately, Pennsylvania has completely shirked its constitutional obligations. We are one of only two states in the country that provides absolutely no funding, no state funding for the public defender system. So that means it's up to every county to fund their own public defender system. And the risks of that kind of patchwork, you could see that in Luzerne County. I don't know how many of you have heard about the Kids for Cash scandal, but that's where a judge took kickbacks from a detention center and sentenced a bunch of youth who had no lawyers to spend time in this detention center from very minimal crimes. Uh, you, you couldn't even call them crimes, from misbehavior, really. Hi, I'm Jessica Jinli. I'm undocumented, unafraid, and unapologetic. Closing next.
next year due to funding cuts to education. At the same time, that's right, yep, shame. At the same time as the state is spending $400 million to build new prisons. So PCAP is waging a fight for full funding of Philadelphia schools, calling on the city and the state to fully fund our schools. We're calling on city council to pass the use and occupancy reform bill and the reduction of tax abatements to five years. And for us, the Carcerate PA is a key partner in that vision as they boldly oppose, oppose prison building in Pennsylvania. So these state funding and incarceration policies say that young people of color and young working class people's lives and well-being don't matter. So let's flip the script. Let's take leadership from those very same young people who we know are in fact intelligent, powerful leaders.